Record heat has deputies searching for this man missing on Ventana Canyon Trail. Uh, they know that the uh, photo of the person was 33 year old Marcos Taroski. He was seen on the trail yesterday. He is a visitor from Germany. He and two other German tourists started up the trail yesterday morning. So that is the picture of the 33 year old Marcus Taroski taken on the trail yesterday. Now, another person, 57 year old Stefan Gunster, was found dead on the trail. Another member of the group survived. 54 year old Jana Kirkpatrick died yesterday on the Loop Trail near Irvington and I 10. She had been walking about 3 p.m. Early this afternoon, Sheriff Chris Nano suspended the search for the missing German hiker to protect searchers from the heat. They plan to resume an early evening. As Kagan Not In Your Sides Craig Smith reports, the sheriff says stay indoors no matter what time of day. From search dogs to helicopters, the Pima County Sheriff's Department has thrown a lot of resources into the search for a German tourist last seen on the Ventana Canyon Trail. Three German visitors set out early Sunday. A 34-year-old man turned back and was not seen again. Another man was able to get help. He directed rescuers to a third man who was dead when they reached him. And all because they made poor choices. All of this is 100% avoidable. A young woman from Washington State lost her life on the Finger Rock Trail. She also started her hike in the morning. Now Sheriff Nanos is urging everyone to set aside the usual advice of limiting outdoor exercise to the cool morning hours. He says until the heat lets up, stay inside no matter what time it is. The sheriff says a third victim died at 3 in the afternoon after walking on the Loop Trail near I-10 in Irvington. Pima County Health Department says plenty of other people had heat emergencies. We had at least two other people who were found down in Pima County and had to be transported to a hospital for heat stroke. And we had numerous others who went to the hospital of their own accord. Now, it would be easy to think that most of these cases are tourists who do not understand the conditions here. Tourists accounted for two of the three most recent deaths. The sheriff says about 80% of these rescues are people from Arizona.